Hey guys, my name is Thiago Porto and I'm here to show you how to uh, set up Pybox node to work with Nuke. Uh, a few days ago, I did a Flame demo and I posted a few videos and I got a few messenger asking how to properly set up there. So this is what I'm going to do here in this video is trying to show you that. I don't know if it's the exactly right way to do it, but it works. So here we are in the home screen logging. Uh, actually, what I'm going to try to show you here is how uh, this is not affect any flame preferences. It's just like a simple and uh, quickly copy and paste and editing on some preset nodes. So that means you don't even need the root password. You can just like log in directly on flame uh, on flame user and that will work so you don't even need to have a root password for that so that's why i think this is cool that is not any damage on the system at all so uh let's first uh, starting here i just this document just to show you where uh you have to go uh you have to go just on the pi box uh, preset nodes inside flame that's the step one Let's go on that uh, on that folder on that preset folder. So here in preset, you just have to you actually see uh, that you have the new uh, PX. This is coming from Autodesk. This is default by Flame. So you have this new path and that file that you need. That's essentially what you need. There is nothing else. Uh, actually, you can you can do even deeper settings and stuff like if you go uh, below but but essentially what you need just editing those two uh, uh, lines but here you have another line uh, which you can there and just see and and play and there is deeper settings there and also hearing how you execute uh, nuke and where things render and all this these things which is i think is cool i actually did by myself so i choose a different uh ssds and stuff but essentially uh you you just need to edit it just two lines and that's it so it's personally it's good to copy this file to something else let's say here on desktop we create a folder uh and on this folder you just copy that file so here we just copy the file so it's better because you know you don't need to have any root settings or anything and you can just rename it and do whatever so i think it's good to to tweak that way in my opinion and this is what i did for myself uh so here in desktop it's easy because you don't need to uh, to worry about any uh, passwords and stuff so it might be good for you so first thing we need is actually the nuke path so the nuke path needs to be the version of the nuke that you have on the system you can easily find that by double uh, uh, right click on the nuke icon go to app application and then here we have it uh, here you can just like copy the nuke path that the nuke icon is looking for and just copy that and paste on the python code essentially that's it uh, there is no secret here so you just copy and you paste there and i think the autodesk came like for a very old version like five or something by default so that's why it doesn't work by default so you just need to copy and paste that and that's it Also, if you don't have the if you don't have the nook icon, you can just go to uh, user local and and check uh, where your nook lives and just copy and paste that as well. It's exactly the same thing. Uh, I, I just find myself easier going just on the right click on the nook icon for me. So guys, let's go to the second one, the payload path. This one, uh, I it's a file that I like to have uh, together with the Python. Uh, I found easier for me to have both in the same location. Uh, this file is a little bit trickier, 
because uh, uh, some system has it, some system don't. Some sites should be leaving on the temporary folders, uh, but sometimes it's not there. So what I built for me was just like um, uh, uh, this file that I can that I know for sure that my Pi box is be looking for that. So it's kind of let's say manually a thing. So that's what I did. I just put in the, the, those together and then I point the uh, payload path to that specifically file. And that's it pretty much. Uh, so, so guys, let's open Nuke now and let's prep a Nuke script for Flame. So this Nuke script, they can be driving by Pybox node. To have that, we need to have uh, a, a read node uh, with a specific name because Pybox is going to be looking for that specific name. So it's really important to have this name on your read nodes. Uh, and this, uh, the second step uh, is the write node. So what it's putting back to Flame. This is also needs to have a really specific name. For the RGB result, you need to have this specific name on it and also a second right node uh, with the mate and that's it also let's let's add a blur uh, node uh, so we can vi easily visualize if the new script is working for us so let's add this node here so we can control back in flame I'm gonna save this new script on this exact same path that we had before on the desktop so everything stays in the same place. I think it's easier for us to have that. And that's it. That's exactly what you need. Uh, uh, and they are here. So keep in mind that uh, I'm, go I'm gonna give you this file on the link in the description so you can download everything and you have your new script. Okay, so let's move to our flame now. So before we move, just, I just want to quickly show you that I'm using here uh, graphic RTX family uh, from NVIDIA. This is really, I really recommend every, everyone to get those cards. It's really powerful. And I'm also using a really uh, higher core CPU. So that makes like a really strong machine. Uh, uh, let's move to batch quickly. And let's, let's load the Python here. And uh, here, so before we, move on let's go to our folder on desktop remember that folder and here on that folder we have the same uh, file we prepped before the python node so we load that and then you can see that you can now load the new script the same new script on the desktop folder that we also prepped before uh, so let's load that new script and now we're gonna see that happen uh, visually, but we can also see on the terminal if you want, like it's now showing Nuke as a command line. It's actually running Nuke in the background. That's just cool. If you try to see anything here, you can see that uh, it's now rendering in Nuke and putting back to Flame, which is really cool. Uh, but nothing's happening because our Nuke script, it's actually, there is a blur node there, but nothing was added on the blur. So let's go there. Now we don't need to open Nuke. You can just like hit editor and Nuke comes pop out. And then you can just now tweak the blur node. So let's add some values here. I don't know, maybe 40, 50, and then save. And then in the moment we return to flame, that should be affecting our comp, you see? So let's try now, it's actually just play with some contest here. So maybe add some to this transform and just like rotate a little bit so you can easily see that nuke is working in the background and it's updating in contest of your comp here in batch. So you can see even if we adding more pixels and stuff, so it's getting updates on the fly. 
So yeah, guys. So it's working. Hope this ha help you somehow and make easily to install this powerful uh, workflow. Thank you, guys. Till next time. Bye.